What's up, crypto heads? John Fro here from Crypto Dreams. This is the place to be to learn about NFTs, AI, GameFi, and Web3. Welcome back. I just wanted to give all of you a quick episode about how to use the Hive Mapper app on your phone. Using the Hive Mapper seems simple. You get in your car, you drive, and you earn. There's a lot of things you need to know to help you maximize your earnings and to get you earning at all. I had a few issues and pitfalls as I was figuring out the Hive Mapper. I'm gonna give you a complete breakdown about the app and how to use it and what to look out for so that you are earning. Be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. These episodes take a lot of work and that's one way that you can support me. Also click the like button, drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the very, very first thing that you need to do is you have to make sure that your Wi-Fi is on. Wi-Fi has got to be on. Then once your Wi-Fi is on, you want to be connecting to your dash cam. You need to make sure the dash cam is on. There's three lights. Right now it says you are contributing to the map. So I am contributing. I know that I am linked up to my dash cam. Okay, but that contributing to the map pop-up that just popped up doesn't always pop up. That's okay. As long as that blue light there on the left is blinking and it starts accumulating, that's fine. You don't need to be worrying about seeing that blue pop up. I'm parked right now, so that number is not gonna move. You're not gonna see it move as I'm talking here. I'm not trying to crash my car and explain this to you. So that is very important. Before moving on here, before going to anything else, I'm gonna talk about the three numbers at the top. Right now, there's just a blue dot for one. I got the 1716 in the middle and the 125 off to the right. Okay, these are very, very important things to pay attention to, the most important, really. So first thing is you need to make sure you're accumulating on the left. You will just monitor it as you drive. And as long as it's accumulating, it's going to move it over to the middle to the right, okay? So that 1,716, that is what I've accumulated from driving and now it is in the middle. Wanna be paying attention to all that. Okay, and then all the way to the right, you see 125. So that number from the middle is gonna move over to the right, but the only way that that number from the middle is gonna move to the right is when you are connected to a good Wi-Fi source. Sometimes when you are driving, and it is only sometimes, that number will move from the middle to the right and it's uploading. So once it's over to the right, you have uploaded to the network. You will get tokens you are earning. Until that number gets to the right and goes to zero eventually, which means that all of it is uploaded to the Hive Mapper network, you will earn nothing. You will get no tokens at all. So be very, very careful. I actually went on a trip when I first got my Hive Mapper. I didn't fully know how to use the app and it was a long trip. I got nothing from that trip because I thought that it was uploading automatically and didn't check later as I got back. It was a long trip. I was tired. You only have a certain amount of time to upload to the network believe it's usually on a Tuesday that everything resets. So don't quote me on that. Things change, not 100% certain, but you do have a limited time to upload all of your data. And again, in order for the accumulated number in the middle to move to the right, you have to be connected to a good Wi-Fi source. So there have been times where I leave my phone on at home 
connected to my Wi-Fi for hours to upload all of my data. So this is the biggest thing you all need to be aware of, okay? You have to do that sometimes. Let's say I went on a weekend road trip and drove all over the place and explored and came back and accumulated a ton of data. It's gotta get uploaded before I'm gonna earn. And especially when you're going to wooded areas and like off the grid, you are not gonna be connected to a good Wi-Fi source and you will not earn a thing until you get back and you upload it. Okay, that being said, a couple things we wanna look at here. You wanna check your view, okay? You can see the dotted rectangle. You can't have any of the interior of your car in the shot. You also need to check your tilt, make sure there's no sky below that line and no ground above that line. The quality of what you upload will earn you more. Also going on roads less traveled, earn you more. So if you're going over saturated streets and saturated freeways, you're gonna earn less. You're gonna earn more mapping new areas. Hive Mapper wants a map of the entire world. So very important that you do that, but you need to make sure that your tilt is correct and your view is correct so that you are uploading the proper material for Hive Mapper and you will get rewarded more. All right, one other thing before moving along is you can see mapping ends at 3.51 p.m. I've been using Hive Mapper for about six months now. Okay, right now, the time of recording this, it is winter time and it gets dark in my area by about 4.35ish. Mapping ends in my area at 3.51 p.m. But when I was mapping in the summer, I could map all the way till nine o'clock. So I had way more time to map during a day. So this is important for a lot of you who may live in areas where it's dark even longer. Say you live in Alaska, where you don't even get any daylight. You're basically not gonna be able to map at all during the winter. This is just something to keep in mind. You will get longer mapping times during the summer when it's lighter for longer. So important to mention there, this is what it looks like when that middle number is moving over to the right. I'm back at home. I am now uploading all the data I accumulated while I was out driving. This is what you need to make sure you're doing so that you earn honey. You have to get the data that you collected while driving uploaded to the Hive Mapper network. Just wanted to show you this so you can see visually what it looks like. So if we look down on the bottom, you're gonna see four icons. If you click this one right here, this is your map. It's gonna pop up and show your current location. And sometimes it looks a little different than it does right now. It's got a honeycomb look. I'm not sure why that changes exactly, but it'll show you exactly where you've mapped for the day. For some reason, right now it's not showing me that, but that's where you can view that. And on the third icon, you're gonna see what tokens you have earned and you can view your connected wallet. So you have to connect a Solana wallet in order to get tokens dropped in your wallet. So keep that in mind. You're gonna have to have a Solana wallet and you're gonna have to link that to this app. So that's the total amount of honey that I have earned using the Hive Mapper. You can see all your transactions here. So this is over the last six months. So you can see that I've earned a substantial amount of honey. I'm not like a truck driver and I don't do crazy driving. I do go on road trips, but mostly I am an in-town driver. If you're a truck driver or a delivery driver, man, you could earn a lot of honey using this app because that data is valuable and they want every street mapped. All right, and the last icon, all the way on the right, on the bottom, that icon is going to take you where you can check out your profile. 
be able to find your username. That's where you're also going to connect your Solana wallet. I'm not going to click on the icon and broadcast all of my account information to the world, but that's where you will find all of that. You'll also find your serial number, your ID, you can contact support. All of that is right there for you, right in the app. I appreciate all of you watching. Thanks so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps out a lot. Drop me a comment. Also click like. Until next time, I wish you health and wealth. I'm out of here. Crypto.